Welcome back to Kitchen Gadgets. We are not shooting an infomercial today. We are testing an infomercial product. Introducing Copper Chef, the non-stick all-round square pan. Its induction plate channels heat quickly and evenly with no hot spots, so you can sear meat in a flash. It replaces a roasting pan, a rice cooker, a steamer, a stock pot, a wok, and a baking dish. Delicious, amazing. Incredible. Let's see if the Copper Chef is even worth close to its $60 price point. So why is it $60? Well, it comes with the actual pan, a lid, four utensils, a fry basket, and a steamer. We are focusing just on the pan. There are different shapes to the Copper Chef, but today we're testing the square shape because that's the most popular one. And around pan, it can be difficult to position your spatula to flip a delicate omelet. With the Copper Chef square pan, you have more room to maneuver the utensil and make a perfect flip. The greatest thing that they say about this pan is it's completely non-stick and you don't need any oil or butter. It holds up to 850 degrees of heat. So today we're gonna do a flour test just to see burn pattern. We're gonna make an omelet. We're gonna burn the out of some cheese and see how it holds up. And then we'll do some steak. See this? This probably means we'll have a little bit of uneven cooking surface because the edges will heat up a lot slower. We're just gonna sprinkle some flour evenly. This is square shape, and so the edges are definitely going to be less hot than directly in the center because most stove tops are round and this pan is square. Even though there is more space in the surface, in terms of even heating, you'll definitely lose out on the edges. Uh, browning happening, as I predicted, it's happening right in the middle of the pan. Just where that round stainless surface is, that's the part that's getting dark. Second test, non-stick. We're just gonna burn the out of some cheese and see if the pan will take it off. As a side note, this looks disgusting. Again, you can tell like the center is definitely hotter than the edges, but will it come out? That's pretty decent. Comes right out. Wow. When it comes to nonstick, yes. Look at that. I would say that that's a pretty good test. Omelet time. We're gonna make an omelet because I feel like eggs are the best thing to test when you're looking for nonstick or even heating. But I'm still gonna test this without any. Fat. Normally with an omelet, I would start with a pan on low heat and add some fat and then put the omelet in. But with this, I don't know this pan, I'm starting without preheating it at all and I want it to rise up to, to the temperature. Honestly, there's not that much of a difference. Like why would I do this in a circular pan over a square pan? The edges of the pan were heating up very slow and the middle was like cooking a lot faster. Just to give it a fair shot, we're gonna preheat it and see if that works better. Actually, this is looking quite nice and it was a lot quicker. But yeah, you can see browning, obviously right in the center. Ta-da! The omelet tested really well in the Copper Chef. Recap, flour test, fail, non-stick. Test, pass. Omelet test, pass, semi-pass. I would say pass. And last but not least, the steak. Because this will see how hot this pan actually gets. Because this is all in one. They say that this will replace every pan in your kitchen. Just a standard New York strip, and I'm using no oil. You wanna get your pan pretty screaming hot for this because you are searing meat. What I wanna see on a steak is a beautiful, even sear, and I like my steak rare or mid-rare, so you, know, you wanna be able to get that really nice char without cooking it too much. Not having to use oil or butter, I think it's pretty nice because it's super clean and obviously if you're watching your weight or health, it's super good for you not to eat excess oil or fat. Yeah, 
So it's crazy to see the steak moving around in the pan like that because usually you say don't touch the steak because you want that even beautiful sear. But this one is just like moving by its own. I'm gonna flip this. Okay, yeah. Steak's out. I'm gonna let it rest for a little bit before slicing it. One side looks pretty decent, nice sear. But what we found is the other side, that looks like <laughs> The problem is that the edges are completely steamed and the sear is only happening in the middle of the pan. Well, this is why people use cast iron for steak and not a non-stick skillet. This does claim that it replaces every pan in your kitchen. That's a very bold statement because I don't think anything can replace a cast iron. Obviously, this is not doing it for me. Let's cut into this ugly steak. Yes. Nice and rare. Just how I like. Definitely boiled on one side. The char side is nice. The seared side though is like a little bit gummy. You see that? It's not like a nice, beautiful, like crunchy crust. It's like more like a stringy, like beef jerky kind of situation. So let's talk about the wow factor. When you make a claim that one pan does it all, I'm already gonna be skeptical about it because one pan can't do it all. Should you spend $60 on this one pan? No, I would say that you would spend $20 each on three different pans and have a variety of different products so you can cook different things. Non-stick, awesome. Everything else, not so much. Don't like what it claims. Don't make bold statements like it's gonna replace everything because it's just not. Sorry, stay in your lane. If you wanna see more infomercial testing, click here. A grill that's supposed to create 80% less smoke and even heat. When you grill meat, the drippings will not directly